Why no blocks roots updates? Yes, there are not hundreds but thousands of comments on saying Gamer Robot team sucks, they are lazy, they are not gonna update and all that stuff and even videos. You must have seen a lot of them recently. So I dug deep and went into everything about Gamer Robot, update patterns and all that stuff. Do watch the video till the end so you understand what's the reason behind why Blockstroot's updates are so 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 late. It's like they never even update but they do. <laughs> watch the video until the end, give the video a thumbs up because it is free and it takes a lot of effort to find these stuff and present it to you guys. So yeah, let's get started. So you all know, Dragon Fruit rework update is being hinted from months. And as you see right here, Ripendra has also started to hinting them. And what is pretty interesting is that if you take a look at this one, Ripendra has said release date soon. And he posted the Kitsune icon, which was posted on December 1st, 2023. And then right after that, on December 15th, the update was literally released of the Kitsune fruit. It is April 13th right now. And I'm not saying that the update is going to release on April 15th, but there is a chance that they might release another hint for us. Who knows? Or your unofficial admin might do it. <laughs> so in this one, he clearly hinted that the update release date is soon for the Dragon rework. They didn't do it. So there is a super, super high chance the update will not release on April 15th. Now let's talk about the update pattern of Blocks Roots. So I took a list of all the updates of Blocks Roots with the name of the update, what's in it and the release date of it. So I started it from update 13, which is the Christmas update. That is when they released the Dragon Fruit for the first ever time in 2020. They plan to release the Dragon Fruit in 2023 December, but it got delayed as you know. Let's just slide it apart about the delay. So I went to AI and asked, from details mentioned below, which are the dates and the update names as I explained, what's the average months between the updates? And the AI said, sure, the average months between updates, excluding the last update, which is the update 23, where they released the T-Rex fruit. So excluding that, it is 3.2 months so from what ai has analyzed from the update 13 to 22 that the average is 3.2 months so i got a little sussed out because you take a look at this chart right here which ai has made from the things i have mentioned from the update 14 which was in 2021 march and the update 15 which released in september is literally six months difference not three so here this is like almost a month and i was like can this be random and the ai said based on the update release dates you have provided the update pattern seems to be more random this is because the updates include a mix of seasonal updates christmas halloween event based updates example valentine's day content updates new arena features and bugs and balance changes so here as an another breakdown by the AI you can take a look by pausing the video it is basically the same thing almost but detailedly explained event based updates and seasonal updates are inherently more random than the content updates which may follow a development roadmap bug fixes and balance changes can be random depending on whether they are triggered by the player's feedback or identified by the developers themselves so the AI has said it the bug fixes and all that are extremely random and there is a pure example because when the new ships was introduced and the sea events the movement on the ships are extremely bad like you, like you can literally get kicked out of the ship and that was fixed by a random update which isn't even part of an official update they just fixed that bug and that's it and they mentioned that it might follow a roadmap like the normal content updates overall the mix of update types suggests that the update pattern of blocks routes are more random well yeah that clears it out but why the hell are they random and this is bad because don't the blocks root developers care about us that might be questioning some of us right well i don't know the true intention of them but all i can say is that it is doing good for this game and themselves because so if they keep the supply limited then the demand is going to increase and increase when they add something little the entire demand is going to freak out and if there is too much then they are never going to care which is what happened to shindo life when there is more updates then there will be more people playing that's what you think right but no when the developers keep updating the game they're going to be running out of ideas and everything feels repeated. New fruits, new reworks, every week is gonna feel 
boring agree or not you're going to be playing for a month or a two or three beyond that you won't be playing because everything feels the same and repeated if you miss a week or so without playing the game you're going to fall miles away and also block suits earns more when they not update yeah you heard that right not just dragon fruit rework update they even posted new map reworks as you see right over here even the ui layout is being changed dude why haven't they revealed it with the dragon fruit rework again it's the strategy all these maps aren't even going to release at once it's going to be released throughout this year which is 2024 they are talking about but they posted it in 2023 which people thought it's going to be coming with the dragon fruit rework and then so called update 20 was going around the entire community so now you know it the supply they keep it low and the demand is high they are literally making more money and they are not losing their audience because you know everyone is waiting for the supply and when the supply is low and pretty rare they're gonna enjoy the normal game and if they stop enjoying it that is when they're gonna reveal about the updates and just overall keep the ear filled with updates but also not with the updates yeah it is like this game is actually updating but it is not if you know what i mean shindo life is a clear example for it as you see they don't even have update page for some reason but if you go to their channel i have picked a random video and as you see right here this video the update was released on november 14th 2021 and the next update right after was on november 22nd 2021 you see that difference i'm not just saying that that is the only thing which was released like super super close like almost every update of shindo life is literally weekly and this is shindo life right now with 12,000 people playing they got higher because of roblox collabing with them for an event but again the average is around like 7,000 to 6,000 before it used to be more than 100,000 people playing but as you see their work is super super impressive so now you know why the late updates might benefit blocks roots but real games the owners of shindo life might force blocks roots team into regular updates or you can call it monthly updates because real games is literally working on a game called real seas it's a one piece based game real games devs have proved themselves because of their crazy weekly updates I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but the quality of Shindo Life, what they bring into their every weekly updates, does match the quality of Blocks Roots every three months or six months update. Am I true or not, people? Keep the timestamp of this part and correct me about this. And if you take a look at Relsi's trailer, final teaser, which they called it, it's actually impressive, but I don't think that this is going to be a straight competition for Blocks Roots because this game literally feels like entirely crazy. The game literally says Relsi's. It's like when you join that game, I feel like you're gonna be entered into a totally One Piece world. I know One Piece doesn't allow it in Roblox, but you know, it literally feels like it and the crazy work put by the developers of Real Games is absolutely insane. If you take a look of some of their models, it is crazy boys. As you can see right here, this is the Leviathan. Look at the modeling and the animation of this thing. It is extremely top notch. Nothing compared to block suits. And I think there are more developers in Blocks Roots than Real Games. Even while they do Shindo Life, I think they have max of 5 people and the two brothers who mainly work on the game. Just take a look at this voice. It is really really clean as you see. Oh that is the map. It looks really nice. You see that? Those maps literally has the same vibe almost of blocks root reworked maps which they haven't released yet but they have given a sneak peek of what do you all think about this is real c is gonna beat blocks roots or it is going to be totally unrelated like blocks roots is gonna stay the same and royal games is gonna be its own thing to all the people who might think that this video is against blocks roots and the developers team it is not i just clearly and the likes the game pattern and the update patterns of them and just told you guys how big brain they are i'm not sure exactly if that is their plan or not but what they do right now kind of makes this game survive not just a year but forever as long as they don't run out of content which most likely they won't as they keep this pattern going on sorry if i sounded so weird in this because my nose is completely blocked 
I am completely sick right now but I'm recording this video just to keep you guys in the loop and also I miss making videos so yeah there you go I just did it see you all in the next one peace